maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Please, gentlemen, you did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty, sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint, all cold. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, ah, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospe. <laughs> Your granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we moved to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> well, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. You see, the bumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Oh, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost, and we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too. Oh, no. Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Petrovich. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. And don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by, as usual. We'll be there. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The general is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There has been a new development here while you are out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? <sighs> yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the goodness for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. I better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer. A nice... How about some tea? You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man. An Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <laughs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. Uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go. Go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. Come on, 
bored. We're gonna be late. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself. Got it. Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Look, one day we are going to go outside. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your citrep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Mission accomplished. Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations, year 2030. Four is almost over. It wasn't an easy year. But all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnel. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better. And it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCON leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! Damn, this sucks, the damn 
Generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Uncle HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest, you know the dregs? what's at Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? Nah, I'll pass this time. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. Hello, sir. Colonel, sir, permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. With you. Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch. So <laughs> I just remembered the new year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Here, no. come right over here, here, sir. Of course I do. Young Open up, Petrovich. Slava, uh, come in. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. But this is so unfair. I earned this, saved my wages. 
I know, but it we follow the rules. I found a cash set. It. He does have some. I cash Not say. too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. Enough debating. Resume the search. Yes, sir. Excess stock. First you stop paying us, and now our savings are excess? She won't survive without this. Can't you understand? Don't appeal to pity. There are no exceptions from the rules. We have orders. Pity? You pity no one. You are a snake, not a man. There's a whole bunch here. How did he get so much? Good. So the tip was correct after all. You bloodsucker! You took everything from me, took a child's life, and now you gloat! You just killed her! And she is friends with your Kirill, for Christ's sake! You keep Kirill out of this! You bastard! Grandpa! Grandpa! Watch out, the girl! Where did she come from? It's too funny, Grandpa! Give him first aid and fill out the papers. I'll come for the goods later. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly. And you're short. <laughs> Welcome to the prospect. Please wait for processing. Sergeant, we've already been checked, so could you just let us know? I know, but we already have a bunch of new arrivals waiting on the platform. So that? Sure. Even Cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather. Or the deal. Come, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want. You don't want what? To be a private, and I don't want to be an Oscom anymore. Right. Please, elaborate on that. I went to see Biraskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up, and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? You're right. The situation is dire. Everyone's on edge. People don't want to share their green stuff. Some even attack the soldiers. That traitor started shouting, and they thought he could attack them. It's all a misunderstanding, don't you see? Huh. That was a pretty extreme misunderstanding. The man's barely alive! That's his fault. When the authorities demand something, you must comply. Well, they demanded his last green stuff. But, yes, I know they were on duty. Great. Speaking of things we must do, it's high time we gave you a shot of green stuff. All right.
Kirill. Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me, Dad. If we, Oscar, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the... Truth that... ...might scare them, must be kept secret. For their own good. Do you understand that? I do. But still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son.